a small or mid-size enterprise wants to build a new network using the S380 Plus switch plus AP architecture with only Huawei SME network products deployed. In this case, how do we deploy the network so that both wired and wireless terminals can access the internet? This involves four steps. Now, let's take a look. Step 1 is to install devices. Find the leaflet delivered with the product, scan the QR code for the SME network quick start, find the purchased model in the product catalog and click view. Tap installation. Then, select an installation scenario based on the site requirements and install the product by following the instructions. Step 2 is to connect cables. On the S380, connect a WAN port to a carrier's link to obtain an IP address for communication with external networks and connect a LAN port to a LAN port on the switch. Connect another LAN port on the switch to the POIN port on the AP. The S380 communicates with LAN side devices through the default VLAN, VLAN 1 and dynamically assigns IP addresses to switches and APs. Step 3 is to add devices. Huawei SME Network Series products can be onboarded and remotely managed through Huawei eKit system. Both the mobile and PC web versions are supported. Huawei SME Network Center is a web-based cloud platform that provides five function menus, overview, configuration, monitoring, authentication, and maintenance. It can configure a wide range of network features and is constantly updated with new features. How do we add devices and onboard them through Huawei SME Network Center? First, verify devices can access the internet. If the WAN port of the S380 obtains an IP address through DHCP default mode, no configuration is required. If the WAN port of the S380 obtains an IP address through PPPoE or static configuration, perform the following configurations. Directly connect APC to any LAN port on the S380 to obtain an IP address from the S380 through DHCP. Enter 192.168.112.1 in the address box of the browser to access the web system of the S380. Create a user account. Enter the username and password and log in to the web system. Click Next. Select Cloud Management and click Next. Click OK. Select a WAN port for Internet access and configure the Internet access mode. Click Deliver Configuration. After the configuration is delivered successfully, check whether the PC can access the Internet. Then, create a project on the Huawei SME Network Center and onboard the S380. Log into the Huawei SME Network Center website, click the login icon, enter the username and password, and select a country or region. Click the Service tab and then click Project O&M in the My Project area. Click Create Project. Configure Project Information and click Next. Click Add Device and select a device adding mode. Enter the SN of the S380 and click OK. The device is displayed in the list. If any information needs to be added, add the information as prompted and click Finish. Wait for the S380 to be automatically onboarded. Next, use the S380 to automatically discover other devices on the network and onboard them with one click. After the S380 is onboarded, choose Overview, Home. In the Topology Overview area, the number of automatically discovered devices on the entire network is displayed. If the number of devices is not as expected, click the refresh icon to discover devices again. Click View Now. On the page that is displayed, select the devices to be added and click Add. The added devices are displayed in the topology. Wait for a period of time. Other devices on the network will automatically go online. Step 4 is to provision the network. After the devices are onboarded, configure the wired and wireless networks. First, plan network data. If there are a large number of terminals, 
you are advised to plan multiple subnets and add terminals of the same type to the same subnet to create broadcast domains. The table shows a planning example. A subnet typically uses a private IP address segment, for example, 192.168.x.x. However, do not use the 192.168.112.x address segment because it is the default management IP address segment from which the S380 allocates IP addresses to switches and APs. If the S380 is connected to an optical modem, the 192.168.1.x address segment is not recommended because most vendors' optical modems allocate management IP addresses to downstream devices from this network segment by default. If there are wireless terminals on a subnet, plan Wi-Fi networks. It is recommended that the S380 function as the subnet gateway. On a mid-size or large network, the S380 plus core switch plus access switch plus AP networking is used. In this case, it is recommended that the core switch function as the subnet gateway to reduce the packet processing pressure of the S380. Then, configure networks as planned. Huawei SME Network Center provides the wizard-based network configuration function for you to quickly configure wired and wireless networks. Here, we use the guest subnet as an example. Choose Configuration, Entire Network Configuration, VLAN MGMT. Click Modify Gateway, configure the S380 as the user gateway, and click OK. Click Create. Set the basic parameters of the guest subnet, and click Next. Select a wired access device, click OK, and select interfaces for connecting to wired terminals in the select interface area. After setting the parameters, click Next. On the Configure Wireless Network tab, set parameters and click Next. Finally, wait until the device configuration is delivered. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.